Bonjour. Je m'appelle Andrew. Today I'd like to teach you how to find the molar mass of potassium sulfate. I've created a nice little table to help us out. Watch. Bam. So the first step is we're going to write the elements that we see in the compound. So we have potassium, sulfur, and oxygen. Then we're going to identify the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. Now, if you don't see a subscript at the bottom of one of your elements, just put in one. So there's two potassium, one sulfur, and four oxygen. Easy peasy. Then we're going to multiply by the mass of each particular element. We find those masses on the periodic table. So potassium is 39.1, sulfur is 32.07, and oxygen is 16. So let's write them on in. So this is going to be 39.10 for potassium. Sulfur is going to be 32.07, and then oxygen was 16. Then, well, that looks like 16W. There you go. Now what we're going to do, find the total mass of the element. We simply have to multiply this row on a cross. So for potassium, the total mass of potassium here is going to be 78.20. The total mass of sulfur is going to be 32.07. And the total mass of oxygen is going to be 64. Then to find the total mass of the entire compound, I think you know what to do from here, right? Just simply add up this column. And the total mass of potassium sulfate is going to be 174.27. And the units here are going to be in terms of gram per mole because we're finding molar mass. That's all there is to it. Thanks so much for tuning in. I really do hope this helped. If you can hit those buttons to help us out, that'd be awesome. All right, check out our channel. We've got thousands of videos for you. We'd love to help you through your classwork. Take care.